Let's cover using the Fine Art Creator. What we do is, is we enter a prompt in. I've already entered a little sample one here. Uh, we have a uh, team member that works with us that likes to write children's books and use publish them to Amazon and such. So this is one of the tools that she uses for this. And uh, they're painters. You can see there's all different levels. Really some uh, cool stuff here. Now I'll just do this for instance. Let's see what we come up with. You never really know. I'm going to do two frames. Uh, the maximum is four and that's not set by us. That's open API. Same with the image size. That's the three choices they give us, not what we give you. Okay, so let's do, let's just run it and see here. Again, it may take a little extra time depending upon the load on the server. Okay, what do we got here? Let's just see, let's take a look at that. That's interesting. I mean, you can see that you can really get off into some uh, uh, cool images with a little bit of wording. You can really change them up. So there's that. Now, I will also show you this if you uh, watch the uh, Dell E2 creator what we did was use the blonde head one fashion jewelry you can kind of force this art creator to do some pretty good stuff too I'm just going to do one on here and we'll run it and uh, let's see what we have again it takes a moment sometime as you see we can actually get some images to use also in this creator some different ones uh, so it's all depends on what you get in the prompt here of what kind of artwork that you're going to get I mean let's uh, let's go with uh, let's just do this run one more and uh, show you what happens when you enter in really detailed instructions as you can see you get that okay and that that covers using the fine art creator again You've got a lot of choices here to uh, go through and uh, you can make some really cool art for your blog or to sell things or whatever you may be doing. Thanks for watching.